from Miami, Florida. Today we get to enjoy the temperature-controlled atmosphere under the roof of Marlins Park. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the New York Yankees and the Miami Marlins. It's going to be a premier pitching matchup. Two of the league's hardest throwers go head-to-head -head next. Jose Arena gets the starting assignment for the fish in this matchup. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, we're going to get a chance to look at a guy that ah, he's a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to see which one we see. He's a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. Hopefully he's going to be a little bit more Jekyll than Hyde in this one here today. Oh, okay. I see how it's going to be. You're going to implore that. You're going to use the ambush tactics and not playing nice right there. Usually you're supposed to take the OO pitch to start the game. He wasn't paying attention. Next for New York, Aaron Judge. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Strike called. Now the throw down. He bounces, but he's out. Nice play there to pick the throw and put the tag on quickly. The wind up and the 0-1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Now the one and one pitch. Is strike two swinging. Hey boys, you talk about getting your A swing off. That's what it looks like right there. A guy with massive power letting it eat. No. Two and two. Yes, and a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. With that, here's a look at the Yankees' starting lineup. Dero, daytime road game for him. What you got? Matty, you focus on this lineup. The middle of the order jumps out at you because of the big power. But my focus today is on the table setters. The guys that set the tone. They have to be willing to work the count and find ways to get on base and create a little bit of havoc on the defense. Strike one to start the at bat. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. A ball and two strikes to Didi Gregorius. Started to go around, but it's a called third strike anyway, and that will retire. Luis Severino is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Yanks. What do we need to know here, Danny? Thanks, Matty. Luis Severino, big, big arm. 97 to 100 miles an hour. Bounce between the rotation and the bullpen. Good hard slider. His changeup's getting better. The true definition of an ace. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Lifted into center field. And Gardner there to put it away for the first down. We have a moment here in Miami right to take a look at the Marlins starting lineup. Mark, what's your take on him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, Matt, this goes for both lineups. They know they're dealing with a tough test in a pitcher's park, but they can't let that bother them too bad, or they'll walk out of here three, four game set, 0 for 12, 0 for 15. They have to find a way to stay within themselves, line drive approach. One will carry out of here if they get it. First pitch of the at bat. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Previous history with Luis Severino. He's just one for six. Swing and a little tapper. Foul ball, strike two. A wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. That's what you call clipping the outside corner. Great movement on that slider, and it completely locked up the hitter. Didn't fool the umpire, though. And he runs it in on him and gets him to swing through it for strike one. That pitch just had too much velocity on it for you to catch up to that. 
unless you're cheating to a high fastball above the belt and you're all in, I say you got to find a way to lower it. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Miami down in order. Still no score. Giancarlo Stanton now. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Left fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back but he does so too late It's strike one. Well fans of good pitching are in for a treat today. What can we expect from today's matchup guys. I know everyone loves the long ball Matty but this is why I pay the price of a ticket right here. Two of the game's best two of the hardest throwers competing at the top of their game. Dan you have to love this stuff. You know Dero we thought coming into this one it was going to be a low scoring affair. Both of these pitchers look like they're locked in early and runs are going to be really difficult to come by. They both look like they're on point so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball down near the shoe tops. Now the 1 0 is taken strike one. One ball one strike. No, tried to check his swing there as this is hit to the left side to his left Anderson. Hey this has the makings of being a pretty big inning D row lead off double now a base hit and all of a sudden we're looking at first and third. Yeah sometimes you wake up you just get smacked in the mouth right here. He's going to have to start executing pitches. He cannot leave a ball over the heart of the plate right here. He's going to have damage on his hands. From the stretch. Up around the face. Amazing he was able to lay off in this situation. Your eyes light up when you get something above the belt, especially with a man on third base. Liner toward right center and a base hit as the run will score from third and the Yankees score first. It's one to nothing. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Rory. Get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Stepping in now, number 25. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. And their runners at the corners now. Here comes the 1 0. Missed with a slider. Well, you know, giving up three straight hits is bad enough, but now it looks like he's starting to nibble a little bit. It's hard not to when you're getting hit, but you don't want to put yourself in bad counts. Now the 2 0 is looked at for the first strike. You got two balls, one strike. Now the 2 1 pitch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will wind up a foul ball. 2 and 2. The 2 2. Right side. Throw to second will be in time, but the run's going to come in and score. Back to first, but he heard the footsteps that time, and the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. Well, he definitely rushed himself on that return throw to first there. And he threw it away. They got the force at second, and the runner didn't advance, so it'll just be scored a fielder's choice. Here's Miguel Andujar now. That's a strike to throw down. The tag by Castro, and he's out at second base. Two out, nobody on. Hit the other way out toward right field. Maben is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and no one left on base. On now. 
leading off the inning, Starlin Castro, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. All right, boys, let's take a look at how the Yankees are setting up on defense today. And guys, the things I want you to focus on today, one of them being this manager loves to shift. He has the pitch and step to trust to be able to manipulate his defense to try and get as many outs and play the numbers as much as he can. Ground ball right side. And that is going to sneak on through into right. It's a one out single. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1 0. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Count now a ball and a strike. Drill down the line. But a foul ball. 1 and 2 the count now. Still 1 and 2. Here he comes again. 1 2. And that one just missed outside. Not sure if that was a great take or if he got locked up on a two-seamer running away, but either way, it worked out well for him. That's a well-thrown pitch, though. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Ready now for the Marlins, Brian Anderson. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. No balls in one strike. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Riamuto leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Leave one. They're still down. It's 2-0. Great shot there of the Blue Waters and long, sandy stretches of Miami Beach. Back now for the top of the third inning on MLB Network. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Leaves a slider up high, but it's taken for a strike. 0 1, here's the pitch. Nope. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. to first four right there and he'll step on first himself for the out riding in once again Brett Gardner he reached on a single in his first try first pitch of the at bat and a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way Gardner is a guy you have to keep an eye on in the batter's box. He's definitely been known to drop down a bunt from time to time. That's something he's really good at. And in today's game, Maddie, this is such a lost start. I know you love this one. Guy dropping a drag bunt down for a knock, putting him up, putting him down, getting down to first baseline. Definitely sets the tone for the team. Rojas ranges back and he has it for out number two. Ready for another chance. Aaron Judge. First time up, he went down looking. him a bit with a fastball there and it's to one and one. I know you're standing on the mound. You got two quick outs right here but you have to respect the fact that this lineup can hit you and hit you in a hurry. Number two hole batter up at the plate. He has a chance to get on and get the big boys up. Oh a fastball swung on and missed and for the second time today he's gone on. Striding in, Lewis Brinson as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. A fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. That straight smoke at 99, guys. It's almost unfair. Behind 0-2 now. Grounder down the line at third. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. And it's 1-2. Now a 
swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the Marlins, Jose Arena, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Hit on the ground is short. And there are two away now. Now batting. Digging in to try it again, Miguel Rojas. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. In there for strike 1, 0 and 1. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. And a long run, but he's there to track it down. Nice range, and the side is retired. 1, 2, 3 go the Marlins. They're down. Here's Didi Gregorius, 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Here's the first pitch to him. Lifted the other way to left center. Waiting on it is Brinson. And that's the first out of the inning. Now batting. Left fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Giancarlo Stanton. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Try to check it, and it's 0 and 1. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now. 0 and 2. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Decided to go with a fastball there on 0 and 2, but what he's trying to do with that pitch is to expand the strike zone. Maybe you get a guy to offer at it, but at the very least, it helps set up your off speed stuff. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Got him swinging in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Stanton is retired. Two down now. Now back. Captain. Stepping in, Gary Sanchez, the American League's silver slugger behind the plate a year ago. And now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here, 0 and 1. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball, ball one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one two. And a check swing here but he holds up far too late as it's strike three and the inning is over. So nothing. Up next for Miami Cameron Maven set to lead us off in the home right half of the fourth field. inning. Cameron. Comes right Cameron. after him with a fastball for a strike. You know we saw these guys around the cage during batting practice and they told us they were going to be aggressive. I think this is getting a little ridiculous. They better watch themselves if they don't start putting balls in gaps. This guy's going to find himself in the eighth inning cruising. Swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one. Another strikeout for him on the mound and boy is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt Manny. He's one of my favorites mostly because of his stuff. You know he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many down the left field line and deep. And that is off the wall but in foul territory. Foul ball. Swing and a miss on the changeup and there are two gone. Wow talk about mowing him down. How about two strikeouts on six pitches. He isn't messing around and these last two batters have had no answer for what he's throwing up there. No balls and a strike to count. Swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. And there's number eight one away. This is in the air to center. Does he have another one two three for the ledger. He does. Eight in a row he set down, and the side is retired. Miami down in order. They trail things here two to nothing. Digging in now for the Yankees, Tyler Austin looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. 
Oh, and he extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to straightaway right field as the Yankees move out to a three to nothing lead. Well, when you groove the first pitch a strike, these hitters are going to make you pay. Something tells me I don't have to tell the guy on the mound that anymore. That hurts. The batter. Into the box number now, 25. number 25. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Hit in the air down the right field line. Maven on the run. One away. Here's Miguel Andujar now. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. First pitch on its way. A ball and no strikes. A ball and a strike. That counts. One and one. Now the one and one pitch. Check swing grounder to the right side. Throw on to first, two gone. How about it? So here now is the pitcher, Luis Severino. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. In there at the letters 0 and 1. That pitch up in the zone called the strike and that's a tough pitch for a batter to hit, though, that fastball that's high in the zone. Eight. Looks at a changeup right over the middle. Hey, nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. Two quick outs after the bomb, and he's got a chance to get out of this. One. And here's a fastball yeah. on 0-2, but two. it misses. One and two now. Well, facing an AL pitcher at the plate, you certainly don't want to waste too many bullets on him. I expect this next pitch to be grooved right down the middle. Even count, two balls and two strikes. The 2-2 two -two is laid off and the count runs full. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0-2, started nipping at the corners, and next thing you know, this count stands at 3-2. and two. Count remains full. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. And that's in there. Base hit. He came to play today. Not just only on the bump right there. He's thrown the ball well, but on the offensive side of the ball, he's able to contribute and help this offense put itself in position to score some more runs. Here's Brett Gardner now. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. He's working on a one for two game so far. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. As a look, now the pitch. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Two one home now to Gardner. In the dirt here. No advance here, but it's three and one now. Set. Here's the three one. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. All right. Three two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Grounded back up the middle. And Gardner's going to reach. It's a base hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Here's big Aaron Judd. 
He swings and sends a bullet to right field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home run. Bottom of the fifth coming up. It's now 3-0 New York. Stepping into the box, JT Real Muto. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth the as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. And that's the first out. There's our line score through the first four and a half, and these guys have basically had the bats taken right out of their hands. Just one hit to this point. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. The hitter in this situation has to understand that this pitcher is on the attack, looking for a quick inning. If there's something in the heart of the plate, you better pull the trigger on it. Number 25 takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. Now batting. Third baseman, Brian. Anderson. Digging in for his second at bat, Brian Anderson. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Popped him up. Sanchez over to his left, and he brings it in on the warning track. 1, 2, 3 go the Marlins. Still down, 3 nothing. Tyler Boyd takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 67, Tyler Boyd. Here's Didi Gregorius. No hits to this point. First pitch on its way. There's a fastball that just misses. Ball one. I believe he broke the plane of the plate there. He most certainly did. It's a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Two balls and two strikes now. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he set down for the first out. Giancarlo Stanton now. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. Ball one. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right hander is up and throwing. Ball and a strike. Three runs, seven hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that will be ruled a strike. The one two. Is it very well to right? This one's hammered, and it's going to go. That one is gone. It's a solo blast off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. As the Yankees start to pull away a bit, it's now four to nothing. Well, how do you beat the shift? You hit it over the shift, of course. You can't play guys up at the sky, so he lifts this one up and out of here.
In now, Gary Sanchez. Slapped hard the opposite way. Maven back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. For the First baseman. Digging in and looking for more, Tyler Austin. He went deep last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. Four runs, eight hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Hard hit ball to second. Castro's got it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. The Yankees do get one on the solo homer. Through five and a half, it's now a 4 nothing New York lead. And that'll bring in the multi-dimensional Lewis Brinson. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they face other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Missed with a slider. Pretty good discipline right there with two strikes. That's a tough sweeping slider. Not many guys lay off that pitch. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0-2 now to 2-2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. Brian Holliday will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 28, Brian Holliday. Too high, 1-0. Oh. Oh, the 1-0. Oh. Fastball down below the knees. The 2-0 oh on the way. High in the air down the right field line. And the pinch hitter will not be able to advance the cause, and there are two away now. Now batting. Back to the top of the Miami lineup now and stepping in Miguel Rojas. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. 0 and 1 the count. The wind up and the 0 1. Push to the right side. And that'll get down for a two out single. Not every ball is going to be hit on the screws right there. That one falls in front of the right fielder for a single. Found some green grass. Cameron Maven. Here's Cameron Maben now. Fouled off. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. A bouncer up the middle. And a close play at second, but the throw does beat him, and the side is retired. One left for Miami. They're down 4 0. Welcome back to South Florida. Yankees leading this one as we get ready to start the seventh. But before we do, here's a look at our game summary to this point. Junichi Tazawa is now on to pitch the from Marlins. the bullpen now to start inning number, number seven. Junichi Tazawa. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Leading number 25. 0 for Second 2 with a run three. batted in for him thus far. 25. First delivery to him on the way. Hit the other way out toward right field. Under it is Maven now as he pulls it in for the first out. Now Riding in once again, Miguel Andujar. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. First pitch of the at bat. Lined hard toward right center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Ambush tactics right there, but he didn't try and do too much. He stayed in there and just drove it back up the middle. Standing in now, Luis Severino. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Ball's there, and he is out. Good throw.
bounce to first. Moore comes up with it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Ready once again, Justin Bohr. He'll start things out here in the bottom of inning number seven. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Ready for another shot now. Starlin Castro, 0 for 2. He's flown out twice. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. Textbook pitching performance so far in this one as we move into the later innings. First pitch strikes, how about over 90%? That's about as good as it gets. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Here's the one and two delivery. Well hit to right, but a foul ball. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just playing good old-fashioned hardball right now, just rearing back and letting him go. And it seems like this lineup, they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. Swung on and missed for the first strike. The 0-1 on its way. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Miami down in order. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Brett Gardner. He's two for three and looking for more here. Brett Gardner. First pitch coming. Here it is lifted down the line in left and that will end up a foul ball and he misses with it one and one wow that was a decent breaking ball right there but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite handed opposite bat you could see the sweep of the ball coming right into you that was a great take High in the air out to center field. Brinson has to run straight back, but he has it for the first down. Digging in once again, Aaron Judge. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Uh, couldn't hold up on the curveball there as he went around for strike one. behind 0-2 now. He was able to foul that one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his timing off. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. The 1-2. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Waiting on it is Brinson. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now Digging in to try it again. Didi Gregorius. Previously against Junichi Tozawa. He's gone three for six. First pitch of the at bat. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Here it comes. Pulled toward right center field. On the run is Brinson. And that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they're in front, four to nothing. Ready for another chance? Derek Dietrich. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's Bombers. changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very Derek. impressed with how this starter's Derek. going about his business, Pat. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect. But getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped Alabama. settle him in. First pitch on its way. Takes this the other way to right. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Boy, Dero, it's about time they got something brewing here. First pitch single, and maybe now they can start to get some traffic on the bases. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. Ambush tactics, not always the play. You want to drive that pitch count up and get into that bullpen, but sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. 
Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw on to second, so they'll get the lead man, and that's all. But wisely, no thought of a return throw, and the inning will continue. Number three will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. And he fouls this one off. Brinson is off of first with two away. And a classic 0-2 pitch as the changeup misses low, and it's 1-2 and two now. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0-2 count. And it's fouled away. Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The 1-2. One it's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Marlins leave one. They trail here four to nothing. Nick Whitgren enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Giancarlo Stanton now. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. The wind up and the 0 1. Slap hard the opposite way. Maven is there. One quick out to start inning number nine. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. Hard liner to center field. And a diving effort in center, but it's going to skip right on by him. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Even the best center fielders make mistakes once in a while, and that's definitely the case here. He totally misplays it, and by the time he recovers, no chance of keeping him from ending up at third. Here's Tyler Austin now. Oh, tried to check his swing there as this is hit to the left side. And there's out number two. The tag, and he's out at the plate. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order due up. The Yankees lead this one four to nothing. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Miguel Rojas. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out, and over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Behind 0-2 now. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. Here's Cameron Maben now. Cameron Maben. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fouled away. Oh, and two. The count to Maben now. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Struck him out. Struck him out again. I should say his third punch out of the game. He's really racked up the strikeouts in this one. And this guy's been victimized three times already today. He and this lineup are clearly having a really tough time picking him up. Ready now for the Marlins? Justin Bohr. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. No balls in one strike. Set to deliver the 0-1. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. Miami down to their last strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. 
Yeah, and we knew he was in a groove from the first inning, and he just kept this thing rolling and rolling and rolling. They couldn't get anything going against him. A dominant performance with a complete game shutout. 4 nothing to score this afternoon. New York took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Luis Severino pitches well enough to get the W. So that's a wrap for us here this afternoon. For Mark, Dan, and the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Our final line score.